the senior advocate, Mr. Dushyan Dave. Mr. Dave, uh, let me start by asking you, uh, the first principle of jurisprudence here in India is that one should not be or cannot be the judge of one's own cause. Having said that, has the CGI perhaps breached this principle by taking it upon himself to assign a particular bench by passing administrative orders, Mr. Dave? Well, uh, yes, it is. It is definitely a breach because uh, one can't be a judge in his own cause, as you rightly point out. Secondly, most important, there is an equally fundamental uh, you know, principle of law which governs that justice must not only be done, but must appear to be done. So on this second uh, you know, principle also, I think uh, it is really not uh, perhaps uh, proper uh, for the Honorable Chief Justice to have really you know, passed any order, if he did, to constitute the bench uh, of five Honorable Judges. So that is uh, something which is really very uh, fundamental and that fundamental principles have been breached uh, apparently more than once uh, by the Honorable Chief Justice earlier. He did it in Prashant Bhushan and Kamini Jaiswal cases. Uh, subsequently, he has done it uh, now. So it's, it's becoming a routine now. Right, Mr. Dave, this is, uh, these are clearly not ordinary times, given that these are unprecedented times, given that these are grave circumstances. Would the CGI perhaps be best advised to have a full court of all the Supreme Court judges and perhaps that being a credible way of resolving such an issue? Well, I don't think any system seems to be working presently in the Supreme Court uh, since Honorable Justice Mishra has taken over as the Chief Justice. Uh, on the one hand, he is uh, exercising absolutely, you know, uh, uh, extraordinary powers uh, completely unchecked by any principle or any self-restraint. On the other hand, what is really troublesome is that the other honorable judges of the Supreme Court don't seem to be guiding him, guiding him with, you know, a very firm hand uh, into the right direction. So I think both ways uh, things are uh, looking quite, uh, I would say, disappointing and uh, it is really one of the most uh, uh, trying times in the history of the Supreme Court and uh, I don't know where this is going to end. I mean, it, it, day by day the Supreme Court's uh, authority is uh, declining, Supreme Court is being now seriously questioned in the streets across the country and it's not good for the Supreme Court, uh, I think. Uh, it's, it's really uh, uh, perhaps the worst time in its history. Last question to you, Mr. Dave. Will you, and this will be a twofold question. Uh, first, given that an RTI has been filed seeking the administrative order in question, uh, should the court oblige by making the administrative order public? And secondly, would you find merit in perhaps a fresh challenge being issued in challenging this administrative order before the apex court itself? Well, frankly, I mean, I, would, I was disappointed that the Constitution bench comprising of outstanding judges today did not really, uh, you know, direct the registry to supply a copy of the order to Mr. Sibyl and his clients uh, straight away. So, I mean, they should have really done it. There was nothing to hide. And I, I think, you know, uh, these are very serious issues that Supreme Court is debating. And the judges should not take a highly super technical approach, uh, you know, in uh, declining. If Mr. Sibyls uh, felt that uh, he want, had a right to challenge the administrative order constituting the very existence of the bench, I think the judges should have fairly said, all right, we will give you a copy and come back next week and uh, we will hear you on uh, that uh, order itself before we hear you on the merits. So I, I would say that uh, I, the bench's approach was, uh, uh, I would say, very seriously disappointing. And with greatest respects, I would say that I had expected much more from the bench uh, than a super technical approach today. Right, Mr. Dave, appreciate the time uh, you've taken out for sharing your perspective with us as well as our viewers.